everyone. Uh, today is the return of a series that I haven't actually done in a good couple of weeks or so, but the five lap five lap challenge is back today. Um, from now on, we're going to be doing three races per episode. So obviously, there's 21 uh, races in a season. There's like 17 left. So um, I don't know what that is. It's just come off my laptop, but. Yeah, today we've got rounds 5, 6 and 7, which as you can probably see in the title is Spain, Monaco and Canada. So yeah, let's get right into it. We've got to set the first one up. Obviously the winner of the Spanish Grand Prix in 2018 was Lewis Hamilton, so he is the driver we'll be using in game. 5 laps, 108 AI. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, simulation damage. And official start time. Right, we get straight into it. Did I put qualifying on? No, I didn't. Uh, right, that's fine. I'll just let everyone pass. And then we'll go um, from the back of the grid like that for the next race. I'll um, I'll have to actually do it through one shot qualifying, which is what I meant to do this time, but I just completely forgot. Welcome to the circuit Ooh. de Barcelona Catalunya here in Spain. First rainy race of the season, how about that? Very closely contested race. It's 730 meters from pole position down to a slippery turn one here, the first of 16 corners around this 2.89 mile racetrack. The long wide turn three and the uphill right hander of turn nine can both be taken full throttle in the right conditions, but I doubt very much we'll be seeing any of that today. Anthony Davidson is alongside me today. It's nice and dry up here in the commentary box. How are you, Ant? Hope you're well. Looking forward to the race? I'm very well, thank you, Crofty. I forgot my umbrella on the way to the box. I'm a bit soggy, but uh, I'm sure I'll dry out soon enough. It's going to be an interesting race in these conditions. Obviously, you can pretty much throw the form book out the window when it starts raining, and the focus moves away from pure aerodynamic efficiency and more towards the balance of setup and definitely maintaining tyre temperature. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas, the Finn starts from pole position, and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo, a strong showing from the Australian. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Lewis Hamilton, and Raikkonen, Alonso, Perez, Sainz, and Nico Hülkenberg, Ocon, Grosjean, Stoffel van Dorn, and Magnussen, Hartley, Sirotkin, Lance Stroll and Marcus Ericsson, Leclerc and Pierre Gasly rounds off the grid. Right, let's be patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position okay, for the rest the of the Spanish race. Grand Prix set up. Good luck. And we'll get straight into it. I have to let everyone pass though. Now the challenge can finally begin. Where do you think we'll finish in this race? Um, leave your predictions in either the comments if you're watching on YouTube. I can't see a thing. Um, or in the Twitch chat. Whoa, okay. Let's start making up for the run. These guys are slow. The inside of Leclerc and Gasly up to P18. Okay, not a great start. Let's get back on track. Yeah, well, I'm figuring that one out, yeah. Can we get up the inside of Marcus Ericsson here? Maybe even Stroll. No, back out of that one. 
Ericsson's still on our outside, so we'll give him some space. He's really struggling to keep control of the car here. Up inside a stroke. He's 16 as ours. Pump. It's paid off. P15 past Brendan Hartley. Oh, nice move, move. That. Good job. Somehow in the points, I think. Oh, you massive queue of people. Sirok came up there. If you think you can get past, increase ERS deployment to overtake mode. Another dive bomb to the inside of turn five. Made a contact, but let it slide. P14. Having to concentrate so hard, it's so difficult to see in this queue of cars. And just the general lack of grip. It's horrible. Just oversteering everywhere. Not good. around the outside of the hairpin. Oh, oversteer. Oh, he's going slowly Magnussen. Still up the inside through the long right hand up. Somehow I think we've made that work up into P13. Right, now let's go after Hockenberg. A little bit scrappy again now. We've only got five laps, we've got to try and get up the field as quick as we can. Still sliding. Favourite overtaking spot that turn five, got another move done on the German Nico Hockenberg up into P12. Esteban Ocon up next, who's going really slowly okay, behind Sorokin, and now we've got damage. damage. Go, go Esteban! Stop in the remaining laps. 
swing damage. Love that. Get out of the inside. Give me 11 tires. Right, can we get the Williams of Sorokin and get in the points? We're going to be struggling for aerodynamic grip from now, but. Front end grip, could have just said that. Now we've got a run on the Russian on the main straight. Final lap of the race. Let's get on. Go to the inside. Have to break late, it's squeezing me a little bit. I have broke late. Run deep into turn one. Just about got the move done, I think. Any more positions is just aging away. We've run wide through turn three, though. Just allowed some. Uh, I don't know where else to go with that? Um, Sorokin back up the inside turn four. We're going to go around the outside of a bit of grip. Just about. B10 should be ours. Just need to uh, create a gap. Big snap of Iverson. And P10 it is for the Spanish Grand Prix. Over, take care of the car. One the singular way point from technically the back of the grid in Spain. I'll take that. Tough race that just had no grip at all, could barely see half the time as well. P10's alright. It was a magnificent race. And it was Daniel Ricciardo right in the end the from top second top. on the grid. So here come our winning drivers today. And what a race it, it was. There's been a big push at the factory lately to get these cars ready. And we can see the fruits of that labour today as Red Bull lift the winner's trophy. Well done to Danny Ricciardo, I guess. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going for someone who really punched above their weight today, and that's Sergei Sorokin. He was fantastically quick through the whole Grand Prix. <laughs> that's it for today's Grand Prix. And from Sergei Anthony, Sorokin, it's goodbye. And driver see you again of next the day. Time. Absolute hero. Right, let's get into the Monaco Grand Prix and let's actually do the qualifying bit properly. Right, and I believe it was Daniel Ricciardo that... Yeah, it was Daniel Ricciardo that won the Monaco Grand Prix. So, in the Red Bull for this one. One shot qualifying. We're here at the magical Circuit de Monaco for one of the most challenging qualifying sessions on the Formula One calendar. Who can add their name to the illustrious list of Monte... Qualifying in the dark, then. Um, we'll go out here and, well, we'll do 
do that instead. That looked bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're all right. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that'll get us our P20 that we need. Absolutely fantastic. Love to see that. The grid is all set then for the race tomorrow. But before the grid is indeed all set. So For some before reason, it stayed off, in the dark. Well, that should make. Should add an extra twist to the Monaco Grand Prix for the five lap challenge. Let's see how this one goes. Into Devot, well, you sounded depressed, Jeff. Have to take it easy on this first lap, I think. Got the inside of a few people. Uh, ah, squeeze against the wall by Brendan Hartley. We've got even more damage. I'm just going to restart this one. It's going too aggressive. Right, attempt two. Not always playing sailing this season, this series. Got the inside into the first corner. Can we make any positions? We can on both the Williams who have had a bit of a collision. Up to P18. Fair play, Ericsson. Staying on my outside like that. And now into the car park that is Lowe's hairpin. Still on the outside. And we'll stick in P17 to now. We're looking good from the start. Too keen on that. Concentrate so hard for this one. Don't have the legs enough for our power salvo, unfortunately. Three now. DRS has been enabled. Oh, 
I thought about launching one that. Let's try here instead. Bit of contact, we've got the move done up into P16 at last. Yeah, warning. Sorry. Bit difficult really, we've only got five laps at Monaco. over that. Whoa. That is not how uh, the last corner is supposed to be. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Taken. Can we make up a fifth place on the final lap of this Monaco Grand Prix? Really hope so. Only a P16 finish from Monaco is not ideal, but so difficult to overtake on this track. That's the end of the race. And we only we'll make up the four positions for Monaco. <sighs> oh well. Right then, on to Canada. I can't actually remember who won this one. I'm just going to have to look it up a second. A great win then for the Marinello team today. Anthony, and it was Sebastian Vettel, so I'll be in the Ferrari So, for here one. they come now, out onto the podium. <laughs> wonder if I'll get driver of the day for now that Now then, one. Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Lots of drivers impressed me today, Crofty, but I'd say the one who impressed me the most was Daniel Ricciardo. That's it there for today's go. Grand Prix. And Sorokin and, and Stroll both goodbye. getting penalties and as well. See you again next time. One minute and three seconds behind. Must have had to stop or something. Not a great showing by the Williams pairing at all, but P16 it is for Monaco. And now we're on to Canada where I'm hopefully going to be able to regain a fair few more positions than that. Ferrari, Sebastian Vettel, Canada.
welcome again then, and we hope you're ready for another fantastic session as the teams prepare to unleash their cars. to recover that one into P5 I think that was. Obviously we've got to start from the back so that's what will be done. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Hamilton, Raikkonen and Valtteri Bottas. The grid is set then so that We've just hit our first 100 views on Twitch as well, so cheers for that. Greatly appreciated, I suppose. That's where we expected, I guess. Welcome along we're out on to the YouTube. final moments of peace before a grid full of the world's fastest racing cars fire into life and charge down towards Only the scuffle. Only 150 off a thousand one. video views. Hopefully we'll get to that to in the then. coming weeks. Meanwhile, we've got a Canadian Grand Prix to try and make up some places on. So, uh, let's get straight into that. On the run to turn one and Both Williams is in front of us. Brendan Hartley again. Wild Van Dorn. It's P16 off the start. Already equaled our uh, Monaco Grand Prix best. Finishing position. That's a strong Up the start. inside of the well Sauber. Maybe Pierre Gasly who cuts us off. And get around the outside of him. Come on. Bye, Gasly. Whoa! Off me. Still up right inside the Frenchman. To let him have this one. There's a lot of guy, ground to the guys in front, I'm not happy about that. Up the inside into the hairpin. P14 is our right, get off to the clerk.
past the South River player. Now we've got a long way to go after. Let's see if we can get at least 8th in this one. Back to the Renaults and the Force Indians. is now enabled and will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead. As long as it's still there, we can stick it around the outside. Still there, Fernando Alonso. Let's let him go then. And then we'll get the switch back out of turn four and he's just slammed on his brakes. Weirdly, but we'll take P12. Let's go after the Haas of Roman Grosjean. James May's favourite Formula One driver. Side of Grosjean on here, and P11 is us, hopefully. Yeah, so we've got to try and get past this whole train. There's another four senior, I think, of Sergio Perez, who's just completely left this train slow on the braking. Might have looked up the inside of Magnussen here into the hairpin. Sides and Hulkenberg are side by side. We do indeed have that look up, up the inside of the Haas driver. 10 is ours, we're into the points. Oh, the whole conversion sign's getting a bit feisty. Both got DRS. Move to the inside of Hulkenberg. Can we get the inside of Science as well? Probably not for now. He's just locked up and gone straight on. Green flag. That was weird. He ate for now. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Can we get Esteban off on before the end of the race? DRS on the Frenchman, so what can we get done here? Indeed we do. Come on, I just don't think we're close enough to him. If we can get a good enough run out the last corner then maybe, but... We did, we've got no ERS to follow up with. And it's going to be a P8 finish in Canada. Decent race though. Okay, pick up Robert, Much better than Monaco. Half the position in fact. Made up 12 places. Not too bad, that. And Mercedes have pulled Toto's off a happy. great victory here today. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? Uh, Hamilton well, I think won. the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, Absolute you machine. name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race.
Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson. Should Who would metal. you go for? Sebastian Vettel. He was Easy. a class above today. Just an absolute pleasure to watch. That's it for today's Grand Prix. How far off fastest lap were we? Just over a tenth and, and, and a half. Next time. Just under a tenth and a half even. Behind... No. Oh, fellow Ferrari driver Kimi Raikkonen. Well, that sums that up then. Two decent races and Monaco. Um, first two races were tough. That one was a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more enjoyable. But that then will round out the stream. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, there will be another stream later, another upload as well if you're on YouTube. Um, more than likely Crawley um, RTG. So if you're excited for that, um, let me know. And in the meantime...